Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Hair Talks by Terra Medical. My name is Dr. Joshua Chong, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about human tissue specific autologous exosomes. Now, before we get into the details of the scientific jargon, I want to tell you a little bit about paracrine signaling. So paracrine signaling is when cells are trying to communicate with other cells using messenger particles. And these particles are actually exosomes. They are actually a vesicle or a little balloon that's carrying messenger information. And this information can be passed from cell to cell to elicit a response from a distant site, such as in hair follicles, exosomes are naturally produced to signal other areas of the hair follicles to replicate faster manner so that your hair actually grows coarser and thicker uh, inducing the energy phase of the hair cycle now there's a lot of rave about exosomes being produced in laboratories for the use of aesthetic medication and hair restoration and these are usually found from a donor source be it another animal species or a plant species and these exosomes while they might be exosomes in real life but they don't actually have the tissue specificity that a human exosome would have understanding the biology of exosomes meaning your own cells are producing their own chemical messengers exosomes for specific tissue sites such as the hair follicle will help you understand that lab produced exosomes and your own exosomes are actually very characteristically different not only is it a challenge for the laboratory to produce very biosimilar exosomes that actually tell hair follicles to signal it's also quite impossible for them to get the exact chemical composition of that exosome to meet your own hair follicles needs your own hair follicles needs a messenger signal from your own hair follicle. And there is a procedure that does that extremely well. In the procedure that we call Regenera Autologous Micrografting or AMT for short, this procedure used to be known as Regenera Activa. This procedure actually comprises a few steps. The first step being harvesting of skin samples from an area of relative strength. These tissue samples actually contain regenerative cells from both origins of stem cells found in the hair follicle and these belong to you. Now when we harvest this tissue and put them under a process, we actually produce millions and millions of these signaling particles called the exosomes. And these exosomes are human tissue specific to you. They are not derived from another person, another animal or a plant-based species. Having them live and active and re-injected into areas of thinning elicits a huge growth response and we are talking about approximately 26% increase in hair density over the period of 6 months as shown by a few different clinical studies. The use of lab-grown exosomes is not approved by the US Food and Drug Administration. Whereas, Regenera AMT has been approved for many years and more than 80,000 cases worldwide have already been performed. Hence, it begs the question, why are we using lab-grown exosomes when most patients would be suitable for using their own exosomes from their own tissue? I hope that this brief excerpt has helped you understand that there is a stark difference between producing exosomes in a laboratory and then applying it to the scalp versus using a cell-based approach using your own cells and your own exosomes. It is clear that using a foreign source of exosomes is nowhere near as biosimilar as using your own source of exosomes. So the next time you read an advertisement about exosome therapy for hair loss, do consider the human tissue specific target type of exosome therapy known as an autologous micrograft transfer. I hope you find this deep dive into regenerative medicine as interesting as I have found it. If you have any questions on this topic, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Click like and subscribe and share this video with your friends and we want to deliver more hair loss content to you every week.